Yes, it's another Tumblr review. This time it's a company called Zone Grace. They sell on Amazon. And in this particular one, I'm going to show you two different tumblers. And we have been using both of these, so I'm, I'm familiar with this brand. And it's kind of our go-to, especially for the kids' sippy cup right here. And so what do you get? Well, let's start out with uh, the basics. You buy a, a carton of, let's say you buy a carton of 8 or 12 or 24 or 48 or however many you want to buy. You will get, of course, they do come in a box. I already took them out of the little box. Uh, you'll get uh, some sublimation paper with it. And this particular time, uh, it's pink on one side, white on the other. You want to do your sublimation printing on the white side. It also comes with a heat shrink in case you do not have a tumbler press and you would rather do these in your oven. You would put this uh, heat shrink over your tumbler after you get your graphic taped on it good. Take a heat gun and shrink it. Then you put it in the oven for the appropriate amount of time. Take it back out once it cools, peel everything off. That's how that works out. We don't use those here because I have a tumbler press, but it does come with it, just so you know there. Uh, I have a couple graphics printed here I'm going to be putting on these two tumblers. Kind of a Christmas theme. This is for the kids' tumbler, of course. This is for the regular 20 ounce. So with the 20 ounce, it comes with a ribbon. So you can tie that around the uh, box if you like. Put a bow in it. Want to make it kind of decorative for a holiday there or whatever. It comes with a rubber bottom. Don't put this on until after you've done your sublimation work. And make sure you take this stuff out before you sublimate or you'll have a melted mess inside. On the kids tumbler, of course you want to do this with the lid off as well. This has a uh, straw on the bottom. Now, the straw can also be taken off, and which is useful for both washing it and once the kid gets a little older and doesn't want to be kind of trying to suck on it, they can drink out of it like a regular cup. And it's got a little thing here that pops up, and the kids just love to play with that. Just like so, and you can put this back on, and it fits like so. So I'll get these prepped, and I'll get these on the press, and we'll take it back off. I'll show you how these look. Okay, uh, hot off the press, as they say. Uh, this one has, this is the kiddies tumbler here. This is cooled off enough that I can hold it uh, barehanded. Do not hot peel your tumblers. If you peel it when it comes right out of the press, or right out of the oven for that matter, if you're doing the oven method, uh, you're very liable to end up with some ghosting. So I'm using the, uh, the same brand of sublimation paper on all of these little demonstrations here. It's from InnoSub. That way everything is consistent. Because sometimes you'll have a sublimation coating where the paper will stick to it. And it'll leave a residue behind. And that is not the case with this. So there's our little Christmas bear there. And of course this will go on top. But I'll need to put my little baby buggy bumper on the bottom. Is this cooled off enough to, yeah. We'll see about this one here. Here's our little Christmas scene there. So nothing stuck to it. It's got a good coating on it. Now the, next, the last step here, take a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol. Not the ribbon. Get the bottom of this good and clean. And of course we got two different sizes here because this is for the kitty tumbler here. The smaller one. Some brands of tumblers don't come with these. Little stops on the bottom. These are nice to keep the uh, tumbler from sliding around. It also has some directions on there. You know, you should hand wash these and uh, you really shouldn't put them in the dishwasher. Although we have, we have done it by putting them on the top rack and not had any negative effects from it. Of course, it says do not microwave. But that makes sense because they're metal. So we'll get these set up here. Little teddy bear, put the lid on. And of course, there's our little teddy bear tumbler. And boop! See, kids love to play with that. And this here, of course, then just gets a cap. And it does come with the straw, of course. Uh, there'll be a link in the description on where to get these on Amazon. Uh, 
for the sippy cups or the what I call sippy cup tumblers, this is the only the the ah this is the only brand that I use for these because I like how everything works on them. And we do use quite a few of these tumblers from Zone Grace as well. So if they're again not sponsored, uh, we buy these, we buy lots of them. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up, always helps the channel. There'll be links in the description on how to do these step by step, because I'm just going quick here to review the brand. Uh, there'll be links down there how to do everything step by step on both of these. And of course there'll be links in the description on where to get these on Amazon. So thanks for watching, I'm Roger in the Loft. See you in the next one.